everybody, it is Chef Leslie with Harmons. Thank you for joining me. Today we are going to be roasting chilies. So when you're roasting chilies, you wanna make sure that you purchase specimens that are kind of nice and long and, and some are kind of twisty and turny. You really kind of want them as flat as you possibly can get them, okay? So these right here are Anaheim's, but there's also New Mexico's. Uh, we get hatch chilies during our chili roast in August through Labor Day. Um, but this is basically like the way that you want to roast chilies year round, okay? So what I've got is I've just washed these and I've got a nice little pan that I'm setting them on. I prefer to use a bowl, okay, and a piece of plastic wrap. You can easily use a paper bag if you want to um, or the plastic bag that the chilies came in, for example. So during chili roast, we will roast them for you by the bushel uh, or you can purchase any quantity that you want or any hotness level that you want. But uh, we're going to go ahead and roast them on our stovetop. If you don't have a gas stovetop, you could use a barbecue if you want to or you can actually put them in your broiler about four to six inches away from the heat source until they're nice and blistered. But I'll show you exactly what that is. So I've got the luxury of having a gas stove top. So I'm going to go ahead and light these. And you just want them as hot as possible. You're also going to want a pair of really long tongs, okay? Because obviously you don't want to burn yourself. So I've washed these and I'm just going to go ahead and I like to live on the wild side. I'm just going to put a couple of these on each burner. I guess I only need three. Look at that. All right. So the whole entire process is basically like what you're doing is you're causing a little bit of black. You can hear them popping already. Um, you want like little black spots or little black parts of the skin. Once it starts to go white, that is incinerating your chili and you've gone too far. Now granted, you, this is not something you wanna step away from, okay? This will probably take maybe like seven minutes max, seven to 10 minutes max. But I wanna just watch these guys blister and then I'll let you know when I'm gonna go ahead and turn them. But the key is, is that you want them to blister on one side and kind of just slowly turn them, let them blister again, instead of turning them constantly, okay? And they're gonna start steaming themselves inside. Let's see, so I'll show you one of them. So see, I've got some really nice, good char on that one side. So see how I still have some green here? With our steaming process, that should be able to slide right off. But these are, uh, love this stovetop. These are some serious BTUs, people. These are good. So, not recommended for children. I would not let them in the kitchen at this point because you're gonna singe some arm hairs, I'm telling you right now, okay? And sometimes they're gonna fall through the grate, which just, you know, you can turn off your element and grab them and put them back on. If you were, in, if you were doing this in your oven, same thing goes. You know, you can put it on like, well, my broiler has a one, two, or three setting. I wouldn't necessarily say you need it on the hottest setting, but just make sure that once you blister that you're kind of occasionally turning those as well. If you were going to, for example, make chili rellenos and you were gonna use poblano or pasilla chilies, uh, this would be the first step that you would do in uh, roasting those prior to stuffing them and frying them. We actually have a how-to video on that, so check that out. Okay, I'm gonna call it on this one. So see how this one is nice all the way around? I mean, the, the, the top part is just a tiny little bit green. I might just, that was hot. Okay, this guy's ready. Same goes with him. Even though he's like a little bit on the green side, I think with steaming, he's gonna be just fine. I'm gonna just throw him over there because I think that one's nice and hot. Same thing goes with this guy. He's ready to go. He's nice and brown all the way around, perfect. So what I like to do is just take a piece of plastic wrap, put that on top of there. Let's finish all the rest of these guys. Okay, he's ready. There we go. In he goes. Make sure you have a nice seal on there so they're starting to steam. 
cooking. So these guys are going to steam for about 10 minutes. And then in the meantime, the skin and the chili are going to separate. So we'll come back and do that later. So check out more of our recipes and our videos.